What's up ladies? Today we're going to be debunking five fitness myths that are preventing you from being fit. I'm sick and tired of you guys being told crazy things and I'm taking the no button out no! to debunk all these myths. What's up everyone? It's Anthony from AB Fitness Center where we help you to lose body fat, gain muscle, and get stronger. Like I said, today the no button's out, and we're gonna cover five common things that women are told that really drive me nuts. <laughs> uh, they're in no particular order, but all five are very important, so make sure you stick around. And if you're not already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a beat and you get real life, appliable fitness information without the fluff. And also head on over to Instagram at AB Fitness and give me a follow over there. So let's get rolling, all right? So number one, okay, should women train different than men? my last word. No! <laughs> That's true. So women should not be training different than men. So the reason being is because every the law of like getting into shape is really, really simple. When your goal is to change the way your body looks, 70% of your results are going to come from what you eat. The remaining 30% are going to come from what you do outside of that, which is going to be your weight training. When you're trying to change your physique, you need to be doing weight training. But women and men are not different in that case. Women have muscle, men have muscle. So in order to change your physique and to change the way you look, you need to be training that muscle. In fact, I would even say the opposite of that, women should train more than, more like men in order to get in better shape. That's what, that is the truth. You need to be lifting weights, you need to be lifting weights with progression, and I would even say that women also need to go through cycles of bulking like men do because they need to be able to put on more muscle and rebuild their metabolism. Remember, bulking doesn't necessarily mean you're going to look like you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, but it does mean that you're going to be rebuilding your metabolism. So in fact, women should train more like men. And to top it all off, women actually genetically are predisposed to handle more volume than men and they have a higher pain threshold so women can train harder train more and train more frequently than men can so ladies if you're listening to this you could pick up the men's fitness magazine which I'd, actually i wouldn't recommend following the routines in there but you get the idea you could be able you could be picking up those ma those workouts and be implementing them on your own training again everybody's a little different but you'd get better results doing that than following your favorite fitness person on instagram doing you know, glute, glute raises with the band. That's not gonna work. Train more like a guy, okay? Train more like the men's routines do. You guys can handle more volume, you can handle more weight, you, can, you have a higher tolerance for pain than us, so that's what you need to be doing. Number two, they always say that women are confused that they should be eating good food and bad food. Is that true? <laughs> I got this for Christmas actually because my wife says I say no to everything that she asks me. So she got me a no button. It came in handy with these videos. So um, there's no such thing as good foods and bad foods. Your body doesn't discriminate against foods. It just sees amounts, portion sizes, how much protein, how much carbs, how much fat. So ladies, don't fall victim to thinking that certain foods are better for you than others. That's not true. Um, and I guess this stems to those stupid things that you see online, like, okay, drink this. This is going to help you do this. You know, and I talked about this in the cellulite video that I did. You know, there's creams and stuff that you could uh, be doing. Certain diets are going to help you get rid of cellulite. All nonsense. Uh, there's no difference between good food and bad food. It's just about fitting it in. And welcome to the world of flexible dieting. You can watch any video on my channel and you'll find out more about flexible dieting. Number three, women need to be doing a lot of cardio. No. N-O. No. Right. Again, I kind of talked about this in point one, number one. Cardio is more reactive than proactive. So remember, when you do cardio, and there's, uh, there's benefits to doing cardio, you're just gonna be burning calories for that amount of time. But your metabolism is never static. So if you are doing currently cardio four days a week for an hour at a time, your body is gonna come used to that level because your metabolism will adjust to that amount of cardio. And what happens when you plateau, you'll have to do more. And this is why with all of the people that I work with, I always make sure we want the loss to come from not the cardio, but to come from the nutrition since 70% of your results are going to come from that. So you need to keep that in mind as well. So 
don't focus on cardio focus on lifting weights i promise that's going to be the fastest thing that you need to do in order to shift your body composition around and change that ratio of muscle so you're going to get toner leaner and more sculpted number four women must eat low carb no means no <laughs> no means no that is so false yes there is a place that some people do respond better to low carb diets i'm not saying that but as a general rule you need carbohydrates for energy it's just what it works uh it's just the way it goes also your carbohydrate intake also dictates your fat burning hormones when your carb intake is higher your fat burning hormones are going to be a little bit higher so you want the goal is to try to get as lean as possible eating as much carbohydrates as you can it'll help to fill out the muscles make you look more leaner sculpted you know so you need that so i have some clients i have some women clients who are eating a ton of carbs and i have some clients on the other side of it that because of issues that they might have they have to eat low carb it's just the way it goes you know you're always going to have two ends of the spectrum but as a general rule women do not need to just be eating low carb that is way false so don't fall victim to that ladies you can have carbs and still make progress all right number five okay this is the one that really really drives me nuts and there is some truth to it so i'll cover that so women don't need as much protein no 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 <laughs> i love this thing um it's true so while that is true women don't need as much protein as men there's a reason why they don't need as much protein because they're not as big as a man so a 200 pound guy you know obviously needs more protein than a 130 pound woman i mean it's just the way it goes but you need protein because muscle is protein protein is muscle you, protein also has a thermic effect that comes with it higher protein diets have been shown time and time and again to help you to burn more body fat for every 100 calories of protein that you consume just pure protein you burn about 25 to 35 percent of those calories off in just digestion Pro higher protein diets are also been shown to keep you fuller longer so these are things that are going to help you to sustain your diet long term which is the result the goal you obviously the more that we can make this a lifestyle the more that we can fit fitness into your life the easier it's going to be to maintain these results this is why i recommend practicing flexible dieting tracking your protein carbs and fats and s sticking with that religiously and also going through cycles of okay i'm dieting right now i'm rebuilding my metabolism right now and i'm also trying to build muscle because every time you enter a different phase you'll net a leaner better physique so you just got to keep that in mind so i have a question are you interested in sitting down with me to map out a plan for your fitness and nutrition for free if you are send me a message on instagram at ab fitness or just comment below and let me know and i'll get in touch with you all right ladies don't fall victim to these five myths and i'll catch you guys on the next one